I am Dr. Kurushima, adjunct faculty in the Department of Biology. Welcome to the first episode in a series of short videos focused on the care and use of microscopes. This first video focuses on some basic concepts of storage and transport and defines the basic parts of the microscope. Microscopes are a valuable and useful tool in the biology lab and are very expensive and delicate. It is important that as a biology student, you become familiar with the parts and care of the microscopes available to you here at Gavilan College. In your biology class, you will be assigned a particular microscope and you will be responsible for the care and storage of the microscope throughout the semester. Each microscope has a number indicated on the base of the microscope and is stored in the corresponding shelf space in the cabinets. While not in use, the microscope should be stored under a desk cover and the power cord should be neatly wrapped in the back. When carrying a microscope, always use two hands. One hand should be firmly grasping the handle on the back of the arm or frame of the microscope, and the other hand should be supporting the base. Let's look at the different parts of a microscope. Dust cover, power cord, main on switch, light bulb, light intensity knob, or dimmer, field iris diaphragm, Filter holder. This holds the filter for the light. Condenser. This focuses the light on the specimen. Aperture iris diaphragm. Controls the contrast. Diaphragm control knob will open and close the aperture iris. Stage. This supports the slide. Stage clips will hold the slide in place. Stage X and Y axis knob will move the slide forwards, backwards, and side to side. Coarse and fine focus knob moves the stage vertically to focus the lenses. The resolving nose piece holds the objective lenses. Objective lenses are marked with magnification and are color coded. Scanning objective lens is 4X. Low power objective lens is the 10X. High power objective lens, 40X. And the oil immersion lens, 100X. Observation tube. This should be fixed in the forward position. If it is not, alert your instructor because rotation may damage the microscope. Eyepiece or ocular lenses are 10x magnification. Interpupillary distance adjustment adjusts the distances between the two ocular lenses. Diopter adjustment ring will compensate for differences between the eye focal lengths. One of the eyepieces has a pointer. When you are finished using the microscope for the day, remove slides and return them to the appropriate slide box. Lower and move the stage back towards the arm of the microscope. Rotate the revolving nose piece so the scanning objective lens is in place. Wind the cord neatly and replace the dust cover. Using two hands, carry the microscope back to the cabinet. Make sure you replace the microscope in the correctly numbered cabinet space by matching the number on the body of the microscope to the number on the cabinet. This has been Dr. Kurushima. Thank you for watching. Be sure and watch the upcoming episodes that cover basic and advanced use of the microscope. See you next time.